Hello there, everyone. Welcome to another video. I'm Nazmus Kandekar, and you're watching TechNet 9090, the premier source for all things Azure, Montreal Metro, and anything you could think of in terms of Montreal or transit in Montreal, or maybe outside of Montreal. If Gab, Gab goes on a, or if TechNet 9090, we should call him, goes on a vacation to, I don't know, Mars, we might have a video of Rover, I don't know, Curiosity Rover. Oh! Look at that! We have we are at Barry Ucam Station, and uh, we have an Azure train coming. These are the new trains that are being rolled out, literally, as in rolled out with rubber wheels, to Montreal uh, to replace the oldest of the fleet, the MR63, the or as I call as it's officially called, Material Roland 63. This is train set. 13 you could tell that by because there's a on your top right or now it's the center uh, is that the number of the train you can see the 10 dash 139 or 10 2000, for 2010 and 13 for the train set 13 and 9 for the car 9 anyway so the train is leaving right now and uh, if you're uh, one thing you can't get from the uh, from the from, from the video is the wind you feel uh, but when you're actually in there, you feel a lot of wind. Another thing about my desert my and then mention uh, notice is that uh, the train is going. Oh, whoa, what, what? Oh my! What, what? What? What's happening over here? The, the lights flashing. It's like it's winking at me. That that is very strange. I, whoa! And then there's another resort that's coming here, uh, following on the same track, and its front light or headlights blinking that is very 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 weird um, and, uh, and okay uh, I've never seen that before that's very strange and and also notice that the trains actually coming in and going out of the station uh, at a very low speed uh, if you notice when the train left Barry Ucam before it was at a very low uh, it was in a lower speed uh, if you if you if you know how fast the train usually come goes off and again there it is uh, red light flashing and uh, that's very bizarre and by the way we're at the Sherbrooke station the following station of Barrie uh, and you can see there's a train number um, I just missed it I don't know I, don't, I just don't know what train number that was okay anyway uh, if you guys have figured out how to tell the train number let us know in the comments let's see how how much of a genius you are you all are in term did, did you see the uh, logic of reading the train numbers and there it is another train this one, however, is not flashing its light. We're, we have tr time travel back to Barry. Um, oh, uh, Technet 9090 tells me that uh, the train that I missed before at Sherbrooke is actually train 16. Thank you, Technet 9090. Uh, uh, anyway, so oh, oh, it's flashing again. It's flashing again. This is very strange. Uh, this one, oh, this one's train 16. Never mind. Okay, so uh, yeah. Anyway. The lights flashing here, so something is wrong. In the beginning, we could have assumed that something was probably wrong with the train, but now that we're seeing multiple trains are actually flashing the light, this tells us, whoa, what the heck is happening now? Oh my, the train just stopped. And I just love hearing these brakes and pressure sounds. Anyway, uh, the train is stopped, and yeah, and because we're seeing more than one train is doing this, during this light flashing thing, um, it, uh, it's, uh, it tells me that something's wrong with the track. Whoa, that was fast. Okay, guys, that just gave almost, you know, shocked me, honestly, because I was looking at the other train, and you can see, compare, comparing the two trains side by side, um, this one was like going at normal speed, which sounded, which, which comparing to the other one, is like going at the speed of light at least. I mean, or maybe speed of sound. But again, you could see that train still crawling away. So something tells me something's wrong with the track. And Techno 990 tells me this is a train set number six, um, and the train set, train set six will depart right now. So and uh, we had, uh, oh there it is there. It, Again, if you guys could figure out the logic, let us know. Anyway, uh, we talked to a member of the community uh, of the Montreal Metro enthusiasts, and th he tells us that uh, the light flashing is, um, although rare, it's supposed to mean that the speed limit system or controller of the track is actually um, broken. 
which is interesting because I've never that's interesting. I've never seen that happen. And, and again, the train's coming up. You know, it's kind of weird. I I, I like how I, I'm I'm curious to uh, to see that Tech 990 it travels faster than the speed of light. We just saw this train depart, and boom, we teleported back to the next station, and train 16 is coming back again. So wow, Tech 990, you impressed me of your with your light speed or speed of the universe or speed limit of the universe you know running in front of the train and you know recording it from both ends which is awesome uh, this train 16 again it's coming up very slowly with the lights flashing and according to the community member uh, it's a problem with the speed of the uh, speed limit on the tracks I, I, I again I, it's, I've only heard this I can't confirm it to be uh, I can't verify it it may or may not be true so uh, but yeah anyway right either way it's very interesting um, also, uh, I want to mention, although that it seems as though the trains actually go really fast, it's actually not. Uh, the, the maximum speed limit in the Montreal Metro tunnels are around um, 75 or 70 kilometers per hour, which translates to... Uh, ooh, I just missed the train, train number again. I was busy talking to you guys because you guys are awesome. I just missed look, seeing what number it was. Uh, anyway. Uh, the speed limit was it, it, the maximum speed you could go or you're legally allowed to go in the tracks is around 70 kilometers per hour which translates to around 45 miles per hour um, and uh, the uh, what should I say uh, but the trains themselves these trains could actually go at a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour which is actually 75 miles an hour in, uh, in term if we're talk in empirical for uh, empirical units. Uh, and it's actually, I believe, the highest speed limit. Ooh. You can you can almost feel the wind in the video, but in real life, you gotta be careful because these winds are, are really um, strong. Oh, ni nice transition. Good job there, Tiger 990. And there it is. There's another Azure train coming up. This time, it's not flashing a slide, but it might. At l that person is. R oh, I'm sorry, whoever you are, that you might be sad. Don't be sad, little kid. Anyway. Uh, what, what was I saying? Oh, I told. Oh, this train. I'm not gonna. I, 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 I'm going to verify the number now. This is actually train set 15. Um, and Techno 90 tells me that the next train that's coming up is train set number two. Well, that's pretty interesting. Anyway, so uh, yeah. So as I was saying, oh, 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 look at the speed. That is awesome. Because and guys, uh, uh, a safety tip here. Uh, stay away from the. Uh, not only are you not, you shouldn't step on the yellow, um, yellow portions of the platform. You should actually actually stay far away from it. Uh, even yeah, because the wind itself is very strong, and you don't want to get hit by these trains. Uh, they're they're going to be very damaging to your health. Um, and, uh, I, I, and yeah, so I think you could guess what happens after that. Anyway, uh, these trains uh, can travel at 75 miles per hour, which is actually the uh, speed limit um, of the train uh, of, of, of many of the highways in the United States. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's possible that some states allow you to go at 80, 80 miles per hour, but I believe 75 is the top limit. Oh, and there goes the train. And that train uh, that saw uh, that you just saw leave. Um, oh, oh, what is happening here? What? Huh? Again? Oh my. Something is definitely going go, not going well with this track. Oh, that, wow! It stopped again. That that is very bizarre, huh? Uh, I actually did a video of a train failing to accelerate. That was a one-time escape experience. I've never seen anything like that ever again. It wasn't a normal. Uh, if you're interested, just check out uh, my video on my YouTube channel, uh, YouTube.com/NasmusLabs, and I have a video called uh, Train sudden acceleration stop I don't know you, you'll find it anyway oh this one's flashing as well oh as I was saying the train that came earlier train set 2 that's actually the very first train that came to uh, that was rolled in to service in Montreal oh we're, we have teleported back to the next station share book station get uh, tech 990 I wonder is is this is this that train 15 again uh, because Gav or tech 990 that's your uh, you know, screen name, if anyone use that term still. Uh, you have a really awesome ability. You can actually teleport. I need to learn how to do this. Um, 
yeah, it's train set 15, the one we just saw, you know, past Barry. I don't know how you're doing this, man. I mean, come on, this is amazing. Uh, you gotta teach me this. Uh, you could make, you could win a Nobel Peace or Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize in Science or Physics. Oh, and guys, for the first time ever, or it seems uh, uh, you could see this ancient or old trains. These are not the trains that the uh, new trains, Azores, as they're called, are going to be replacing. But these are the trains that are they have been running for 30 years, give or take. But um, our friend Techno 9090 here uh, loves his uh, Azor trains, so he chooses to avoid not recording any of the older trains so it makes it seem as though the Montreal Metro is full of these new trains only but in fact it's actually not um, okay uh, okay uh, so Gap tells me or Techno 99 tells me he used a preset transitions from um, from Premiere okay these are pretty nice transitions I have not seen this so I don't know Oh, train set number five. Hey, have any of you guys figured out how to read the train set numbers yet? If you have, let us know in the comments. Um, oh, this guy. And by the way, I, I, I'm very impressed to see this guy uh, with the wheelchair using the service because um, only few stations as of now, as of this recording, uh, very a handful of stations are equipped with elevators, which means that they're accessible to people with, with wheelchair, you know needing wheelchair uh, so mobility uh, issues people who have needing mobility assistance they they are not able to access most of the stations because only few stations have elevators but hopefully this is, should be changed if this should be fixed within the next 20 years as uh, STM the authority transit authority of Montreal Metro adds elevators to all the stations but it's still nice to see this guy um, using the service I'm guessing he's going to get off at a station that does have an elevator uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see the day that every station is elevated. But anyway, guys, it's time. I think it's time for us to head home, and I'll take the train. I'll take the virtual train home. And thank you for uh, watching the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel uh, for more videos by Techno 990. Go to YouTube.com/Techno 990. If you want to see what's up with me and the videos I create. Check my channel out at youtube.com slash nasmuslabs. We'll have a lot more great things for you. And goodbye, guys. I've never seen anything quite like this before.